welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour. I have 17 minutes until I have to go. Uh, I have a few things to do. Uh, one of those is work-related. It's still uh, December 11th. Which, you see, I have. this is all the time I have to myself every day now. I have those 19 minutes I just used on the previous... Or, well, it became 30 minutes. And now I have these 15. So I have about 45 to an hour every day. 45 minutes an hour a day to myself. Which isn't much, but I decided to use it today to record, because, seriously, it's been way too long. The other video is already uploading, so let's just get to it. I hope to take Norway in the next 15 to 17 minute defeat. Why? I don't get that. That I don't get. That shouldn't be impossible. Oh well, who knows. Anyway, what has happened has happened. Thanks, 91. Nice I was uh, industrial tech. Oh, constructions need to be done. Yeah, it's very bad infrastructure this far north in this time period. Planes are continuously meeting resistance out in the ocean here. The battle isn't over Britain. It's everywhere around Britain. <laughs> it's not the Battle of Britain anymore. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. If anyone even can tell me which TV series that's from. Ten points to you, bro. I guess it's been said in more than one series. Uh, how about a tip? It's a sci-fi series. And it involves the actor Richard Dean Anderson, who also played MacGyver. For those of you who don't know. Uh, and... Um, let's see, what more can I tell you without divulging too much? Well, you know what? I mean, that's all I'm gonna say. Try to figure it out. Leave it in the comment section if you know the answer. Oh yeah, and the garrisons, simply because I want to have them stationed there in Kumai. It's... I don't know why, but the capitals always seems to give me trouble. Wow, there's a lot of, uh, partisan activity in the area. Send those a little back and forth. How much, uh, regain is it? <laughs> Not much. Come on, you can walk faster than that. Damn. Wish you were legionnaires, Marius' mules. It's not fucking water. There is no water to need to be crossed here. Maybe a tiny river. Come on. The tanks can probably float. I mean, or drive them underwater. The mouse, one of the Germans, shall we say, dreaming super weapons was called a mouse. It was a tank larger than that of the tiger. It was the idea was very simple really. Ah. Oh. The idea was very simple. Uh you have two mouse, hook them together, that one supplies electricity to the other, the other would drive under the river and up on the other end, so the other one would follow. Very, very ingenious little idea that. Although it was never put into practice, you can't imagine it being very practical. Let's start building a second air force group, but I need more bombers. Come on, how much more? Oh, well I can deal with that. <laughs> I want some more to my reinforcements here. I don't want our groups to get completely destroyed. That would be a disaster. Oh yeah, and I turned the volume on the game up a tiny bit. I noticed I was a little... Uh, well, I, I droned over the game a lot, so... Instead of only having my voice, you can at least hear the game. Not the issue I had previously, by the way. There's always something, isn't it? Oh! Subs! 
how many destroyers do we have? Oh, we have plenty of destroyers. Yeah, that one. Very well. I always have destroyers protecting my carriers. Always. Yeah, they're uh, marshalling a lot of the defenses here. You know what? I just noticed. They're sacrificing the southern defenses. Oh, no, you're not the transport fleet. It's down here. Hold on, let's use this... Um, opportunity... to take some territory... in the south as well. We could probably envelop their entire forces up north. That's a huge strategic blunder they've gotten themselves into. You can just walk ashore. Oh. Yeah, that's the trick if you're playing Norway. Keep uh, Oslo, Kristiansand, Ordesund, uh and Narvik well protected. And make sure to build um, fortifications in these in Tromsø and Alta so that when the Finns join the war you can keep them off. Until the Germans end up taking the Soviet Union, which they always do in this version of the game, then you're, then you're dead. But up until then you can most likely endure. Very good, the enemy is losing tons of submarines. They're losing submarines. Ah, excellent. No, fight again. Head up to Nordvik. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, just no. Go, 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 go. Oh God. Yeah, this will be pain. Ow. Nineteen destroyers. Forty-four transports. Yeah, the transports are just shot. I have two left. Oh fuck. Well, we'll need to build transports. <laughs> and of course I haven't researched that part of the tech tree. Oh, shit. <sighs> well. Wait a minute. Ah, convert convoys to transports. Great. One. Well. This is just to get emergency transports, nothing more. I need eight. I have two. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow, this was costly to my uh, convoy capacity. But what choice do I have? I have to be able to bring my troops back. That says we can't drive out of Buda, which is... <laughs> I don't know why it's stopping me from doing that. I've never seen that before in this game. Never. And this is pissing me off. Sorry. It's just ugh, it's just so frustrating. I mean the infrastructure is up to twenty five soon. Even so you don't need a lot of infrastructure. Tanks can go through fucking the Arden forest in Belgium. And here I can't pass through some measly mountains? Come on. Home Defense Doctrine. Good. <sighs> 
better radar is always an advantage. Oil, however, that's a must. What the heck just happened? That shit again, eh? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could ev evidently have more than seven. I thought I'd seven was the cap I'd set. Oh well. That's what happens when you modify the game and, well, you forget in between what happened. There at least, now. There. Come on, you can take it. This is pissing me off right now. Oh, you can attack, but you can't. Now you can too, come on then. Now that's strange. Uh, I happen to know that's General Flacher. And he is not a defensive specialist. He is more of an offensive doctrine, man. One of the only offensive doctrine needed generals in Norway. Which is why I think it's so strange that they chose him to lead. Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, now we have the transport again. This time, however, you go together next time. And it's a much shorter route. How did our merchant marine fare in that one? Not well. Wow, we need a lot more convoys. Ah, victory. Good. And they're coming to take Orsini. Orsini isn't important, but again, Oslo and Narvik is the most important parts because those are the ones who are the victory locations. And I happen to know I can walk directly to Oslo from Kristiansand. So, that's what I'm going to bank on. And that I can walk away from the Norwegians since the infrastructure is destroyed behind this. Well, we're closing in on the upgrades at least. We're catching up. Defeat! Well, the, what the hell is happening over there? I just... I just don't get it. Why can't we break through? Well, there's an easier way around that. It pisses me off though that I have to send my carriers everywhere my merchant fleet is going, you see. Of course, you could have built their own escorts, ships, but what good would it do me in the run, in the long run? It just have cost me more IC, which I needed on land troops. Ah, oh, excellent. out of time. Damn! Um, okay, technology, early self-propelled artillery. Perfect. Perfect. Of course that too was off. Oh god. Did I have 12 or something last time? I don't remember. I added a small modification to allow me to have more tech teams, but I didn't think it was that many more. Oh well. What is done is done. Yeah, like they just can't break through that area and attack it. They can't attack Buda. I don't get it. Anyway, we're out of time, guys. Um, the game didn't crash this time, though, and that's good news. Um, next time, we'll, we'll continue the invasion of Norway. And 
wow, how close will it be to Christmas? It'll probably be the last videos I make before Christmas. I make may make someone during Christmas. Christmas Eve, I'm busy. The day after Christmas Eve, maybe I'll have some time to, to record some. Uh, Christmas Day, that is. Second. Uh, you know what? I think I have a lot of time off, too. So yeah, I will have some time to record some in between uh, Christmas and New Year. I will definitely keep an episode for Christmas Eve, maybe two, that I will record prior to Christmas Eve. I may upload them on Christmas Eve. Uh, call it a Christmas gift. Um, and I will definitely have two videos uh, on the 31st. One that will be uploaded the 31st and one that will be preferably uh, on YouTube by the 1st. So those two videos are important to me. Uh, four videos are important. Um, but we'll see. I still have my hands full, but I have to go. Bye.